The digital sort of collections are our most popular collection. The growth continues to go up. In 2018 alone, eBooks increased 15% in popularity. Uh, overall, digital art collections increased about 26 to 28% if I've got my numbers right. So these are increasing every year, the popularity. So what a lot of people don't realize is that eBooks and digital audiobooks for libraries cost significantly more than the prices that consumer gets, a consumer would get from say Amazon. So to give you an example, if you take five titles that were bestsellers, New York Times bestsellers in September of 2019 and put together a cart with one copy each, a consumer would pay for the ebook copies $71.95 using Amazon prices or $74.75 using Amazon again for digital audio prices. A library, however, for the ebooks, we pay $289.99 or for the audiobooks, $421.49. It's the same five books or audiobooks, but we pay much, much more than the consumer pays. And to make matters worse, those usually disappear after two years and we have to purchase them again. Either two years or often 52 uses, sometimes 26 uses, those ebooks and digital audiobooks disappear and the library purchases them a second time. If you look at the prices, and I'll give you one example, Where the Crawdad Sings, an incredibly popular book. We have actually spent at this point $3,200 on ebook and digital audiobook copies for that one title. And we still have about 200 people waiting in line for the ebook and a little over 100, I believe, waiting for the audiobook. So it's hard for us to keep up when we're spending three and $4,000 for a single title. We do actually get for print books about the same prices that the consumer would get from Amazon. So for us, these very popular digital copies are much more expensive and have much bigger impact on our budget than the print copies do. So just to explain to you a little bit about what's going on with Macmillan publishers in particular that have adopted a new policy for purchasing eBooks for libraries that is, it makes it even more restrictive. Not only is it expensive, but now very restrictive. Macmillan has declared that as of November 1st, 2019, public libraries, no matter how big or small, will each be able to purchase one ebook copy of all new titles for the first eight weeks after publication. After that, we can purchase more with these higher prices and they disappear after two years. But we can purchase one copy for eight weeks, that's two months. So with these already long waiting times for these very popular materials, it's gonna extend that time by two months for everyone. So these are very popular authors, Nora Roberts, J.D. Robb, Tom Clancy, to name a few. They're the things people want. And now we won't have access to them really at all or be able to meet the demand of our patrons for the first eight weeks. According to Macmillan, libraries are hurting their ebook sales. They claim that because people can easily check out materials from the library that we're hurting their sales. Now, to date, as far as we know, they have not provided any data to libraries to prove this. Uh, they say they have met with libraries to discuss this policy and that libraries were all in agreement that it was very good or the libraries they talked to. I have yet to hear who those libraries were. So it's not clear whether that's factual or not. But the fact of the matter is libraries actually create a community of readers. And those are the readers who actually go out and purchase books, whether it's eBooks or physical books. And as a library, we purchase 10, 20, 30 copies sometimes of these eBooks and audiobooks to the tune of three or $4,000 when you start adding it up. So we are contributing to their revenue, even though people are sharing them and checking out from the library. So what can library patrons do about this or what can we as the library do for that matter? We're actually gonna do, what Cal's is gonna do is not purchase those ebook titles until near the end of that eight week period. Uh, so you won't see the new Nora Roberts ebook show up until after, long after, the print versions and the digital audio versions have shown up. So we're doing that to make sure that it's not a very bad experience in terms of these wait times that you're seeing. Um, we'll purchase them near the end of that eight weeks and then they'll become available to you. So just be aware that the new popular titles from this particular publisher will not be available in ebook format for about eight weeks after they've been published. What you can do as a patron or just as someone that's interested or that loves ebooks is go to the website ebooksforall.org. That's one word, no spaces, ebooksforall.org and sign the petition to send to Macmillan saying this is an unfair policy.